Um, this is question four. Determine the number of integer solution to this inequality. It will be more visualized if you draw out the graph of these two curves. So the first one, y equals to x minus 2019 is a straight line. The gradient is equal to 1 and it passes through negative 2019. 2019, this is the straight line. And for log x plus 2019, negative 2019, and this is the asymptote of the graph. Uh, let's say this is negative 2018. When x equals to negative 2018, it is equals to 0. So the graph will be something like this. So this is a sketch of the graph. Now what we need to have is x minus 2019, the black in color is always below the blue in curve. So when will it happen? It happened for all the x from this point until this. But what we want is, we just want to find out uh, integer solution. How many of them? This point is in between negative 2019 and 2018. So this is not counted as, as, as an integer. So it starts from here. So the x is come from negative 2018 all the way to 0 until 2019 and something else. So it is from negative 2018, negative 2017 all the way to 0, 1, 2 all the way to 2019 and there are some more which is still unknown right now suppose x equals to 2019 plus a where a is positive satisfy the inequality and we'll see that the left hand side will equal to a less than the right hand side 4038 plus a so a is less than log of 10 4038 plus a uh, this will imply that 10 to the power of a will less than 4038 plus a. Now we know that 10 to the power of a increased very very quickly compared to 4038 plus a. So when a equals to 1, this is 10. a equals to 2, this is 100, still less than it. a equals to 3 is 1000, still less than it. But when a equals to 4 and above, this will be at least 10,000. As such, if a is positive integer, then we see that a can be either 1, 2, or 3. It can be at most up to 2022. 2022. So let's conclude here. The number of integer solution will be equal to 2022 minus the last one and plus one. And this will be equal to 4041. So 4041 is the answer for question 4.